Let's talk about a day trading strategy that I like to call the sniper shot. It's one of my favorites and it is a strategy that when used in the right circumstances, of course is not guaranteed, but by its very nature is gonna have a high probability of success and that's what I wanna point you to in this video. And just know that I'm not gonna sit here and talk in theory in front of the chalkboard the whole time. I will be using one of my personal day trading uh, results that I captured on video to illustrate exactly what I'm talking about because I, I totally get it. You know, it, it's one thing where people just sit there in theory and theory and theory, uh, but I'll set up some context here, but then I wanna show you a real, real world application of it. Uh, you know, through one of my personal day trades. Before we get to all of that though, if you wanna support the channel and just help out, and if you're interested in one of these t-shirts, then just go to claytrader.com forward slash gear, and you can see uh, all the kind, or all the uh, merchandise we have there, got sizes for everybody, so definitely check that out uh, if you're interested in a t-shirt and helping to support the channel. So let's get to the strategy, and let me go through what this strategy is really revolving around. It's revolving around two things. And this is very, very important. A grade A setup. So this is a, a circumstance where you don't wanna, yeah, that setup looks kind of okay. And I, I could see it potentially working out. And, and those setups exist because not every single day you're gonna have grade A setup. Sometimes you're gonna have to settle for, all right, yeah, that's kind of like an A minus. Uh, that's kind of like a B plus, a B. Uh, do you really wanna be taking C, you know, B minus setups? I suppose I'll leave that up to you. But point here being is this needs to be a good, good, good solid setup. All right, so you want a solid setup. The next thing you're gonna want, because this is a combination, so plus here, low requirement. Now, what is this low requirement in regards to the price target? And why do we, we want to have a low requirement there? Well, we need to have just understanding, and this is, I'm not trying to proclaim like what I draw here is some sort of like, oh, wow, I, 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 I didn't realize that. But there are also areas that kind of hide in plain sight, but there is a relationship out there in the market that works like this. So you have price target requirement, and then that gets more and more. So the more that way you go, the, the, the bigger the price target requirement goes. And then you have chance of happening over here. So chance of happening and price target requirement. And the way this works is like that, meaning the more and more of a price target you want, so the more of a, okay, well, I, I don't wanna make, for example, $1 per share, I, I wanna make three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the, the more price target you want, the higher away, the further away your price target is. So within your trade uh, plan, the bigger your price target requirement, well, then obviously, that's just the less chance that it actually has a patent. Now, if you have a very minimal price target requirement, well, then you can have a very good, solid chance that it actually happens. However, that's not good enough because we wanna make this truly, truly, we wanna maximize the, the chances of it happening. So while it is true that alone, if you have a very modest price target requirement, yeah, you're gonna have a, a high chance of that happening because it's, well, by definition, you're not requiring you know, the sun, moon, and stars for a profit. But as traders, we wanna get our, give ourselves as much leverage and as much edge as possible, which is why we're also baking in this. It's also gotta be with a grade A setup. And when you can get these two dynamics together, that's what I like to call a sniper shot. It's not gonna be, um, uh, well, I mean, that's all relatively speaking, but you're not looking for some sort of big big score. Now, in some situations, some trade setups are gonna require you like, no, no, I, I wanna have a, a bigger price target requirement. And that's fine. Like I said, there are multiple strategies out there, but as far as the sniper shot strategy is concerned, you're, you're not looking for anything like that. You're looking to give yourself the highest chance possible of success. So you want a high win rate. And when this strategy is done right, it's gonna be a very, very high win rate because of the dynamics here that we've mentioned. So with that being said, let's see how a grade A setup in combination with a low requirement for a price target can work out. So let's go to uh, uh, one of my live trades and um, spoiler alert, it, it's gonna be relatively quick. In there at 3650, jump the gun just because I really feel like this thing 
has a chance, there we go. And all out there for $520, just like that. Wasn't that pretty crazy? Over $500 in, I don't know, we'll call it five to seven seconds, give or take there. But that's what happens. I located the grade A setup. I just wanted a dollar per share. Now you saw that had I held longer than, or had I had a bigger price requirement, I would have gotten it. But of course that's all hindsight, right? So yeah, in hindsight, I could have gotten more, but there's also gonna be those situations where had you wanted more, maybe it's a fake breakout, it rolls right back over, and then you're sitting there saying, well, now it's a losing trade because my price target requirement was too big. But of course in this situation, yeah, it just didn't work out that way. I, it coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? But the point here being is, I located the grade A setup, I put just, what was it, just $1, per share price target on it, which was in my mind, very modest and proved out to be very true. Um, and you saw it just like that, sniper shot, boom, got the $500 plus in my pocket in under 10 seconds. So that's just something that's out there. I'm not saying that this is the holy grail. I'm not saying that this is perfect strategy because those things don't exist. But when you can get these two things aligned, so when you have the good chart vision and when you have, you know, know how to assign good, modest price target requirements, then the sniper shot, uh, you know, can be a, a strategy that uh, is worth at least maybe you know trying out or at least keeping in the back of your mind as something that uh, you can pursue. Um, you know, I, I can't say in all situations because some situations are, are are better. There's there's better strategies for them. But yeah, in some situations, a sniper taking a sniper shot uh, can uh, you know just be a nice little addition to an overall strategy tool belt. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you enjoy videos like this, then please communicate that to me by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below. And then also again, if you would like a T-shirt. Go to claycharter.com forward slash gear and there'll be um, a variety of merchandise there and um, uh, hopefully you decide to support the channel and pick one up. So thank you for listening. Thank you for considering. And yeah, get out there and take some sniper shots. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.